Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Garotero. So we're here to do the um, reading, first half of December reading for Gemini. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Geminis. Now, if the reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. I do advise you to check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will for Gemini. Now, Gemini, one thing that I did do um, was I meditated on the energies of the collective air sign in general to kind of see like what can um, the air signs expect here in the first half of December, right? And what did come out was one, like wishes being fulfilled. So the things that you desire um, that might've been coming in fairly slowly are gonna come through in the first half of December, right? And they might come in very quickly, okay? So um, I just remember like past readings that I've heard about Gemini and it's like, you know, we were, um, air signs were kind of advised to like get ready all right and i do feel that energy um we i saw like the four of wands it could be around like commitment it could be around like creating a foundation for yourself okay so it's important to um start thinking about those things that you desire okay and making a clear plan of the, exactly what you want okay so for the first half of december let's see what comes through okay jim your overall energy the Six of Swords, all right? Moving on to calmer waters, okay? Absolutely. Yep, with the moon right behind that, okay? All right, so you're going into the unknown, Cancerian energy. All right, your energy in the first half of December, the Page of Pentacles, okay? So this is gonna be a communication about an opportunity, okay? Yeah, maybe you're giving communication or getting, we'll clarify and see. What happened in the recent past? The Ace of Swords, okay? This is about clarity, a truth, okay? Maybe someone spoke a truth. Maybe you spoke a truth. Okay. What are you thinking about? The death energy, okay? Um, putting something to rest, ending something, okay? All right. Why? The Five of Pentacles, okay? This is about being left out in the cold, um, a lack, financial lack, energetic lack, okay, being alone, okay, yeah, you're thinking about ending something because maybe you're tired of being alone, okay, immediate future, the king of swords, okay, that's your energy, Gemini, you know? yeah, but this is about making a decision, okay, yeah, making a decision about something, and your advice, the nine of swords, okay, this is about, um, this is, you know, paranoia. This is uh, anxiety, okay? Spirit could be guiding you not to be anxious, okay? Because you're going towards something that is like the unknown, okay? With the moon energy, all right? So let's clarify and see, Gemini. Gemini. First half of December for Gemini. Please clarify these messages for the first half of December for my Geminis. Okay. So overall energy is the Six of Swords. Okay. You're moving to calmer waters. Okay. So that's something to know. All right. Why is the Six of Swords here for Geminis, the overall energy? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. With the Eight of Pentacles. All right. So this looks like, you know, you're moving into common waters. Maybe you're working on your finances, okay? Because the Eight of Pentacles is about work, all right? Maybe you're working on your finances or maybe somebody wants to work on like long-term commitment or like, you know, long-term finances with you or something like that. Six of Swords, okay? Um, maybe moving things into a positive direction, moving things, um, moving to common waters, yeah. With the Eight of Wands, you're getting some communication, um maybe about taking a leap of faith okay yeah maybe someone's single now with the nine of pentacles okay six of swords why is the six of swords here for gemini yeah it's like things are starting to speed up i saw that eight of wands energy in my pre-shuffle why is the six of swords here for gemini All right. four of wands i saw that too okay look Four of Wands, okay? Yep. The tower kind of flipped out, but it didn't flip over, okay? And with the Queen of Wands on the bottom and the Queen of Swords, Page of Cups, it could have been a decision that needed to be made, okay? 
Maybe somebody wasn't confident in a decision that they were making, okay? But with this Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and Four of Wands, okay, someone is definitely um, moving to karma waters and maybe even moving into a commitment or a relationship, okay? But the Moon card being here, there could be some fear around that, okay? Maybe fear of some type of deception, okay, with the Seven of Swords being there. Um, yeah, but I feel like Spirit is guiding you, like, don't be paranoid, okay? <laughs> like, you know, with that Nine of Swords energy, okay? So, your energy here in the first half of December is the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here for Gemini? Page of Pentacles. This is communication of an opportunity. Page of Pentacles. Okay. The King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay. So in this first half of December, you're getting communication from maybe a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn um, about an opportunity. This can be about work. Okay. This can be about a business venture. All right. Um, with the fool being here in judgment. Okay. Someone's making a decision here. Okay. To take a leap of faith, to kind of step out on the unknown. Why is the page of Pentacles here for Gemini? Page of Pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with the Six of Cups, this is about the past, okay? Um, someone could be, okay, could be this King of Pentacles, all right, is making a decision with judgment, okay, about the past, okay? They could even be making a decision um, to, like, reconcile, all right? Yeah. With the Eight of Cups, all right, this is someone removing themselves from the past even, all right? Yeah, walking away from what's not emotionally serving them, okay? And ending the cycle with the world card, all right? Yep, here we go with the Six of Swords. Someone is definitely ready to move on to karma waters. Mm -hmm. So we saw that King of Pentacles come up in the uh, with, when we clarified the Six of Swords card, okay? So whatever this King of Pentacles is, um, they are ending the cycle from the past, walking away from it, okay? And moving on to karma waters, all right? Single from the Ten of Cups. And ready to take action. Okay? So here we go. Why is the Ace of Swords here in the recent past? Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here in the recent past for Gemini? It's about truth. Clarity. Okay? Yeah. So someone might have spoken the truth. Okay? Um, could be this Emperor. Okay? Aries energy. Um, maybe that something was over, okay, that something was done, okay, someone could have spoken truth and said, you know what, this is done, because we can see someone walking away, with temperance being here in the two of cups, this is like patiently, you know, coming into union, okay, desiring to, okay, rebalancing themselves after an ending, okay, yeah, and wanting to come into union. Why is the Ace of Swords here in the recent past? Ace of Swords for Gemini. Yeah. And with the King of Cups here, someone could be expressing themselves, okay? Um, the King of Cups is a king with a whole lot of emotion. It doesn't necessarily show it. But with that King of Cups energy being there, someone is speaking their truth. Okay, and taking control of a situation, maybe communicating that something is over. Okay, they're expressing themselves to you, all right, and maybe even letting you know that they desire a union with them, with you. Okay, that you make them happy with the sun card. Okay, yeah, what you're thinking about is the death card. Okay, the ending. Okay, why is the death card here for Gemini? It's what Gemini is thinking about. Mm -hmm. The hermit energy, okay, Virgo energy, 
Okay. Yeah. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So you're thinking about the death energy because you thought something was over. Okay. Yeah. You're thinking about the death energy because you thought this was over. Okay. That maybe, um, you know, because maybe someone ghosted you with the hermit energy. Okay. Um, you could be thinking about like, is this something that I want to start? Okay. With the queen of pentacles energy, right? Because maybe you're like working on building your abundance. Okay. Yeah. With the nine of cups on the bottom, you know, you might, might be feeling like, is this something that's going to, um, help bring about my desires, the things that I want, help me go towards what I want. Why is the death card here for Gemini? Yeah, I feel like you were thinking that this was done, right? Yeah. But I feel like the whole time, like someone was thinking about you. Death card for Gemini. Yeah. Ten of Cups and the Two of Swords. Yeah, because somebody just, uh, Two of Swords is avoidance. Okay, not making a decision, not even wanting to. Okay, so you might have thought like this was done. Okay, there's no progression forward. We can't move this forward. All right, I'm going to focus on myself with the Queen of Pentacles energy. All right, you might have gone into Hermit mode. Okay, yeah, because someone was avoiding the whole Ten of Cups happily ever after. Okay, why? Because of the Five of Pentacles. All right, why is the Five of Pentacles here? All right, you might have thought it was done because someone ghosted, okay? Left you out in the cold. Okay, Ten of Swords. Yeah, a betrayal, all right? Being done wrong, okay? Empress, all right? Yeah, and that's about the divine feminine, focusing on yourself, okay? Being done wrong, okay? Making a decision to focus on yourself, okay? Yeah. Making a decision to be happy, okay? Maybe someone was alone during this time, okay? And realized that you make them happy, okay? Because we see the page of swords right behind that, All right? Why is the five of pentacles here? Yeah. The star, yeah. And wanting to come together, All right? Desiring to come together with the Three of Cups, okay? Like someone may have been um, betrayed, Ten of Swords, left out in the cold, experienced maybe some financial hardship with that Five of Pentacles energy, okay? Maybe with a mother figure, that Empress energy, and they're desiring you. This could be you too. Apply how fits, you know what to do, Okay? Because in the immediate future, we have the King of Swords, okay? This is about a decision, okay? Someone that's making clear decisions, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Why is the King of Swords in the immediate future for Gemini? King of Swords in the immediate future for Gemini? So someone is definitely making a decision with that King of Swords energy, okay? Someone wants to have a new beginning, Ace of Cups, all right? Definitely making a decision to have a new beginning. With the Two of Cups, all right? Someone wants to come into union, okay? Yeah? With the Four of Cups. Um, this could be a missed opportunity. Maybe they felt like they were going to miss an opportunity, okay? But this can also be dissatisfaction, okay? Because with the Knights, I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, the Page of Swords and the Sun card, Someone is realizing that you make them happy, okay? You could be realizing that. Apply how it fits, okay? Your advice is the nine of swords, okay? Which is sabotage energy. Paranoia, okay? <laughs> Don't sabotage. All right. Why is the nine of swords here as the advice for Gemini? That's about stress, anxiety, Okay. Is 
It's definitely giving paranoid. Nine of Swords. Ace of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Okay, you might be worried about like someone watching you. Okay, you might be uh, worried about um, having this new beginning. Like, you know, yeah, if this is going to be like hella difficult, okay, with the Ten of Wands being here, like, is this going to be a connection that's going to be like a problem? Okay, Nine of Swords. Please clarify the Nine of Swords for Gemini. King of Wands, okay, and the Will of Fortune, all right. Yeah, temperance. Okay. Yeah, and sun. So this is like spirit guiding you saying, like, listen, like you might be worried about like, oh, is this gonna be hella difficult? You know, am I gonna like regret even like starting this new beginning with the ace of wands energy? All right. I think spirit is like, yo, relax. Okay, but the nine of swords is like, you know, paranoia, okay. Um, because with the will of fortune, this is about destiny. Um, and temperance is about um like harmony, okay, and the sun. All right, so it's like this is destined, okay? This partnership, this this new direction, this new beginning is destined, all right? And it's going to bring forth happiness for you, peace and harmony. Anything, uh, clarify any more for the Nine of Swords, any more for the Nine of Swords, okay? This is exactly what you envision for your future with that King of Wands energy. Okay, one. Five of Wands, okay. It's about conflict, okay. The Nine of Wands and the Chariot, okay. Justice and the Sun, okay. So if there's been any type of like conflict or uh, you know battles within the connection in the past. This new beginning is an opportunity to move beyond that, to bring harmony to the situation, to move forward, okay? It is justice, okay? With the Libra energy, Cancer energy here with the chariot, all right? Um, let's get you some messages from my straight facts. Oracle deck, okay? Let's get you some messages, Gemini. First half of December for Gemini. What messages do we have for Gemini? First half of December here. For Gemini, first half of December. Okay. It says, my heart hurts. I regret so much for what has happened. Okay. Because I do feel like, you know, in the recent past, it was like a bunch of bull. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Armed and ready. It says, I just feel like I have to protect myself in this. Okay. Yeah. You probably do feel like you got to protect yourself if you've experienced some, like some type of, you know, negativity. Yeah. There it is. Been done dirty. I feel truly betrayed. I'm done. Right. Look, armed and ready. Still on the bottom. Okay. Um, and I do feel like someone regrets all of what has occurred in the past, okay? So I do feel like um, when Spirit said that any conflict that could have occurred, okay, with this Five of Wands energy, all right, this new beginning is an opportunity to move past that, okay? So it's definitely about, you know, healing or creating justice in a situation, all right? And it says, me plus you equals bae. I want you as my other half, okay? Yep. And the bottom of the deck, it says, gotta go, Shug. I'm leaving this toxic situation, okay? Because someone is definitely walking away from something, all right? Yep, because somebody's living foul. Yeah. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. <laughs> Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I miss you guys already. <laughs> Bye.